The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus spoke the following parable to some people who prided themselves on being virtuous and despised everyone else. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood there and said this prayer to himself. I thank you, God, and I am not grasping, unjust, adulterous like the rest of mankind, and particularly that I am not like this tax collector here. I fast twice a week. I pray tithes on all I get. The tax collector stood some distance away, not daring even to raise his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast and said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. This man, I tell you, went home again at rights with God. The other did not. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the man who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated, my dear brothers and sisters. In today's uh, reading, we saw a beautiful parable, parable, of the Pharisee and the public and we read Gospel of Luke chapter 18 verse 9 and we read like this he also told these parables to some who trusted in themselves that they are they were righteous and regarded others with contempt so there are many people who feel the spiritual pride those who feel spiritual pride those who feel they are very religious very church goers and they condemn others and they say they are all useless they are all good for nothing they will go to hell and if someone is if god come and say lord don't worry you will also go to heaven then these will be the these people will be the first one to reject god just because god showed mercy to others because they don't love god they only are showing religiosity outwardly inside they are worse than the others so these are the people who regard themselves so high in front of others. Let's read what the parable Jesus spoke. Two men went up to the temple to pray. We see Jesus said two men went up to pray. So both of them went to pray. One a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. So one was praying to himself, the other one prayed to God. So this is what Bible says. One prayed to himself because his prayer is centered around himself his agenda his will to be done not thy will be done but my will be done so that is the attitude of pharisee so the pharisee standing by himself where he was and he was and praying thus to himself and he said god i thank you that i'm not like the other people thieves rogues adulterers or even like this tax collector continue I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all my income. And verse 13. Okay, let's read once again to verse 11. So many times he repeated, I, I, I. God, I thank you that I'm not like others. And, and like these thieves and rocks and altars, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tenth of all my, my income. So five times, four times I and fifth one my so anyway he was praying five times focusing on himself that means his whole prayer is about himself how he did what he did there are many people even today ask i did this i did this i did this i did this then why god is doing this to me so this is same like pharisees prayer i prayed i went to church i go for mass i go i do fasting and then why god is doing to me so Five times I man my so this is exactly what the Pharisees also did many time when God when you ask these questions I did this I did this I did this and then why do God do this to me then the Lord says who are you what do you think who you are 
Sometimes we think we are somebody and that is for, therefore we say, I deserve this. But then the Lord says, who do you think who you are? There are many people who never go for mass, never go for prayer, or maybe very rough and rough, uh, tough in their spiritual life. They are not so close to God. Once in a while go for mass, once in a while go for Sunday mass, and they once in a while they go and give some donation to the church or do some charities. And then when there is a problem, they question God saying, I did that. I went for mass last year. I went for this confession for the Christmas, and I did this charity, and then why did you do these things to me? My dear brothers and sisters, there are many people like this. They are the family members of Pharisee. They all belong to same group. My dear brothers and sisters, therefore we need to, when to such people Jesus is asking, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You are exalting so much just because some of the, some one or two good things that you have done in your life. So therefore the Lord is telling us don't compare yourself with the other people. So some people who go once in, a, once in a year for confession they are comparing with those people who never go for confession. Then you will feel you are better. But remember there are millions who go for confession every month. And therefore once in a while you do charities and then you look at those people who never do charities and you feel better. But remember, there are so many good Christians who give their one-tenth of their tithe regularly and keeping quiet and nobody knows and do it secretly. Therefore, there is nothing great in what we do, my dear brothers and sisters. Sometimes we sacrifice a lot and spend time in the presence of God and do ministry and we feel we are better than many others who never come to the church. But remember, there are so many who are sacrificing totally to God and committed to God and so prayerful and holy but never publish it in the Facebook and therefore nobody knows there are so many therefore the Lord says who do you think who you are why do you demand why do you say that you deserve it don't you know that you are becoming a Pharisee the Lord is asking us therefore don't ever compare yourself with someone who is below you below standard but Come, if you want to compare yourself, compare with those people who lived a holy life. Like, of course, Jesus, you have to compare yourself with Jesus and see, and then you will know how sinner you are. Compare yourself with St. Peter, St. Paul, and Dominic Savio, Don Bosco, Carlo Acutis, and all St. Teresa of Lisieux, St. Teresa of Avila, and St. Alfonso. You compare yourself with them and you will see how sinful you are, how sinful I am. One day when Jesus, was, Jesus came and just stood in the boat of Peter for some time and preached the gospel, at the end of the preaching, Peter knelt down in front of Jesus and said, I'm a sinner, please leave me. I'm not worthy to stand in front of you. He felt that he's a sinner because until then he was looking at others, but now he looked at Jesus and he found he's a sinner. Anyone who looks at Jesus will feel that they are sinners and anyone who looks at others, they feel they are saints. Do you any time feel that you are a saint? That means your focus is on wrong people. You're not looking at Jesus, but you're looking at those people whom you think below you. My dear brothers and sisters, this Pharisee was like this. Though he was standing in the temple, he was looking at the public and tax collector, not on God. Though he was in front of God, his face is on someone else, not on God. That is why he felt so better. If he had looked at God, he would have done the same thing which the tax collector did. What did tax collector do? We read, but the tax collector standing far off. Why did he go far off? Because he felt that he is not eligible or worthy to come closer to God. And he said, would not even look up to heaven because he's, he thinks he cannot even look at God because he's so unholy. Because God is so holy. When you feel God is so holy, you, you will be afraid even to enter inside the church. Even when you stand in the presence of God, you will be trembling because you know how bad you are, how bad I am, and how holy he is. But was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. You know, when he prayed, he could have prayed, 
God be merciful because I'm a repenting sinner. I'm a praying sinner. I'm a newcomer sinner. I'm not a Pharisee. He could have prayed like this in many times. He could have said, Jesus, God, be merciful to me. I'm a human being. I commit sin. These are all not a correct sign of just correct sign of repentance. If anyone say, oh, oh, after all, we are all human beings. We all commit sin. It's a justification, not a repentance. It's a justification, not a repentance. After all, we are human beings. If anyone say that, be careful that, of, of that person. Because he is comfortable with the sin. He is not having repentance. He is just, anyone who justifies his sin will never come out of the sin. Therefore, he never added any adjectives to this. He said, I am a sinner. Be merciful to me. I have nothing to claim. I am not a proper repenting sinner, but I am a sinner. I am not a praying sinner because I am a sinner. So he is just accepting who he is. No adjectives. My brothers and sisters, when you stand in the place, presence of God, the true nature will be revealed. True color will be revealed. When, when you don't stand in the presence of God, if you are not experiencing the presence of God in your life, you will feel you are a saint. And you will wait for the Pope to canonize you. And you know, in a closed room, in a closed room, Suppose if there is a small hole on the top of the roof and through this roof a sunlight, a ray of light comes in. In this ray of light you can see lots of dust flying in. But there is, because of this ray of light you can see there is light inside the room but in this ray of light you can see lots of dust flying. Other time, other places you don't see any dust. But only in this ray of light, you can see dust flying in. Because in the darkness, you won't see the dust and stones and all the dirts. But when the light come in, in the light you will see the dust. Now many people, their heart, there is no light. Therefore when they look around, they don't see any dust. They think everything is perfect. But when the light of Holy Spirit come inside of them, and that is when they realize it is not just some dust. These are all big rocks and stones inside. And that is when they say, I'm the biggest sinner. St. Vincent de Paul once said, when he was, when he started a congregation, congregation of the mission, the priest congregation, and he always said, I'm the biggest, worst sinner in the world. Because he remembered all the sinful life that he led. Though he changed a lot and he has done lots of sacrifices, he did penances and everything, but he always st stood in the presence of God as a uh, person who received mercy from God. And he said, I'm the sinner. I'm the biggest sinner. Even Dominic Savio, all the saints, they all said, we are the worst sinners. Even St. Paul, and he wrote in the book, in the letters, I'm the worst sinner. Because their heart is full of light. When the light of God comes inside of your dark rooms of your life, heart, then you see lots of dust. And therefore they all cried and said, I'm a sinner. When Jesus was standing next to Peter, Peter felt the light of the Holy Spirit coming inside of his dark corners of his heart. And then he realized he's a bigger sinner. And he said, I'm a sinner, please leave me. Many people, they don't have light. There is power cut in their heart. And therefore they don't see any dust. Forget about rocks. My dear brothers and sisters, this is exactly what happened to this Pharisee. Though he was standing in the temple, he was not standing in front of God. He was standing in front of the tax collector. Therefore there is no light in his heart and he could only see the good things that he had done. And he was just counting it in front of God to get some support. But the poor man, tax collector, Though he was standing far off, there is light in his heart. There is rays of light coming into his heart. And he could find all the dust that is flying inside of his heart. All the rocks and everything. 
though only some dust but he found he is the worst sinner and he is not worthy to stand in front of god and pray and therefore he kept a distance and he didn't even look up to god and he started beating his breast is not once he went on beating his the original text says he went on beating his breast and said god be merciful to me a sinner then verse 14 we read like this i tell you this man went down to his home justified rather than the other for all who exalt themselves will be humbled but all who humble themselves will be exalted you can see a person who is doing lots of sacrifice who is that pharisee he is he does fasting twice a week he is giving tithe for everything and he does seven times a day seven prayers at seven times he does does prayer every day seven times in each day and he is doing lot of sacrifice is a very religious person but no blessing all the prayers are wasted because he is comparing he has pride inside he is self centered therefore all his sacrifices are wasted but this man this man never sacrifice he was a sinful life when he came in the presence of god he felt i'm a sinner he cried he cried with bitterly he only had love for god the other one loved himself but this man he has nothing to love himself but he loved god then god said he is justified the other one is not justified that is why in today's first reading it said it is not sacrifice i, de- I desire but love mercy love it is not sacrifice i deserve you know there is no meaning having any sacrifice but at the same time self centered and exalting oneself no love no love for god there are so many people today they are very religious very prayerful doing lots of sacrifice especially even during this lenten time but no love of god no love of god no repentance all the hard work is wasted and they will never be justified but this man went down to his home justified those who exalt themselves will be humbled but all who humble themselves will be exalted